Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Here in The Sims 4, where we are going to be mixing and matching all kinds of different genetics to see what sort of interesting creatures we can come up with. And today, we are heading back into the snowy world of the Red Lantern, and further into the Alaskan wilderness, as we carry on with another husky, another one of the wonderful sled dogs who helps us out in Red Lantern. Again, not one from the actual game because I kind of want to save those guys for our upcoming snowy escapes adventures that we're going to be having uh, but we have Zoo here so Zoo is actually a husky who really prefers to be on his own he enjoys running with the rest of the sled dog team but he has a bit of a serious personality as you can somewhat see from his extremely serious gaze and he does like to go on long, wandering walks in the middle of the night all by himself. No booties or anything to wear because he has very huge paws. I mean, just look at the size of these paws. They're gigantic. I feel like Zoo is basically a bear. And so nobody really worries about him wandering off on his own, staring into the distance and contemplating life between each falling snowflake. However, his wanders one day are going to take him to a very interesting new place where uh, a certain Arctic Fox is playing. So this is Jess and compared to Zoo's extremely serious personality, Jess is actually a very playful and very kind of happy-go-lucky Arctic Fox who finds herself jumping around, bouncing off trees. She often plays. One of her favorite things to do is actually to jump against a bush or a tree that has a lot of snow on it and let the snow fall down on top of her head, which I think is freaking adorable. Uh, so Jess has that light-hearted personality and she's a little bit of a trickster she does enjoy trying to snag some of the treats and steal the occasional toy from where all the sled dogs go by but usually she doesn't mean any harm and on this fateful night she is actually enjoying the beautiful snowfall watching as the flakes fall from the starry sky above i bet to her it even looks like the stars themselves are falling to the ground and so the snow in her mind is made up of those fallen stars and that sounds absolutely beautiful and very deep but as soon as she has uh, the rest of that deep thought jess is already bouncing up and then trying to catch some of the mice under the snow by doing that gigantic gigantic leap and then downward thrust that arctic foxes do when they kind of shove their paws and their nose down into the snow to try to push through it and grab any of the creatures that might be scurrying around under it. Unfortunately, tonight she's not having any luck. She's just having fun! And while she's bounding around, alternately looking at the stars and then jumping around and face planting into the snow, Zoo appears. And he was in the midst of some very serious thoughts, you see. Serious thoughts that would take quite some time to explain and have to involve the entire meaning of life. But as he stands there, with the snow falling around him, watching as Jess continues to play and laugh and have a great time just living life up in the snow, something is kindled within. A fire within that he could probably write much bad and very long poetry about. But that fire happens to be uh, a bit of a crush. And so slowly and surely over a long period of time, Jess and Zoo end up bonding and we're gonna have our Husky Box Pops. Woo! All right, story time over. Let's go ahead and we are going to get these puppies uh, together. I'm pretty excited because the Husky is huge and Zoo in particular is a very large variety of Husky, it seems. And little Jess is just so cute. And as an Arctic Fox, she actually has the jeans for many other colors that she could possibly offer up on her coat. So I'm really excited to see where this may go. And I would love to see if we're going to get these big old fox ears on one of the pups. In fact, let's go ahead and make the ears just a teensy bit bigger. There we go. Just because I really, I love her. I love her. She's so adorable. All right, so let's do this. Spring rolls around and in the same glade where long ago, or really just a few months ago, Jess was playing in the snow. She has now prepared a little burrow where standing guard outside, Zoo eagerly awaits, very seriously, and once again, probably writing bad poetry about it, the birth of his first litter of children. All right, let's do this. 
Come on, Jess! Okay, let me go ahead and pull up the random comment generator, which of course includes you guys! And you guys are now going to have a chance to be Fox Husky Pup Kits. Hmm, I think that sounds really fun. This would, this would be one that I would be excited to have my name tossed into the ring on too. So be sure to leave comments if you guys would like to become one of these wonderful little creations in the future. Oh, look at the little tail! Okay, we're gonna have to see what this one looks like when we mix in uh, Zoo's jeans though. And of course, always leave comments with some ideas and suggestions that you guys may have for crossbreed challenges we could do. All right, Zoo, the birth of your first child. <gasps> Look, it looks just like him, except it has Jess's eyes. Oh, Zoo's gonna write so much bad poetry about that. And my friends, I would like all of you to meet Rain after Rain Star. And Rain, I think that mixing a wolf and a sheep again sounds like a great idea. The wonderful thing about our random genetics challenges is that they're always going to be different. We can do mixes we have done in the past, especially if they were fantastic, really awesome mixes. And I'm quite eager to hear more ideas that you guys may have. All right, rain, you can't produce wool I, or milk, but you can indeed be a troublemaker who is playful and vocal. So I think you take after your mother in more ways than one. Again, bad poetry is probably going to be written about that. But all right, let's go ahead and pull up the next little pup kit. And then let me grab the newest name. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to grab... <gasps> Look at you, you little cutie! Again, your mother's bright blue eyes. Zoo must be just non-stop with that poetry about now. And a cute little tail. I'm so excited we got this coloration for the foxes. And this is going to be a Nuna. And Nuna, oh my gosh, I love that idea that you have of having Thomas O'Malley and Duchess from Aristocrats possibly have some kittens. I loved, loved, loved that series when I was growing up. Very fun. All right, you, Nuna, are going to be jumpy, you are going to be loyal, and you are going to be stubborn. So I think you've got a little bit of both. The jumpy is definitely, oh, are you okay? Oh, there you go, it's okay. I think the jumpy with actual physical boing boing jumps are definitely going to be kind of like your mom. Oh, Nuna, oh, she's so precious. Okay, we need the next one here. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next baby. And who do we have? All right, let me grab the random comment generator. And this one right here is actually going to be Shadow. Right now, there we go. Oh, okay, Shadow, you look like your dad. You're Zoo Junior, at least so far. You might end up growing only to be fox-sized. Th that remains to be seen, but that would be adorable too. All right, and Shadow, you are a hunter who is jumpy. What is a little puppy hunt? Oh, look at him, oh no. Oh, that was so cute. Oh my gosh. You are a hunter who is active and jumpy and you are so freaking cute. And you look just like your dad, at least right now. Again, we'll have to see what he grows up into. But all right, let's pull up the next one. And oh, yes. All right. So we are now going to go ahead and we're going to have uh, Emmers. So Emmers, welcome. Oh, you've got these bright orange eyes too and the husky patterning. Emmers, you say foxes are your favorite animal. That's why I was cheering. I am so excited that foxes are your favorite animal and you get to be a husky fox. What are the odds of that for the random generator? I mean, there's like, there's like close to 300 comments that the random generator is pulling from right now. And you now have your chance, my friend, at being at least part fox. That's wonderful. All right, Immers, you are going to be hairy, playful, and aggressive. You really want everybody to know not to mess with you. I can respect that. All right, we'll go ahead and we will pull up. Ooh, and a Fennec Fox crossbreed would be really fun. Good job, Immers. I like that idea. Oh, and look at you. I have a feeling, I don't know, maybe this one won't be husky sized, but I kind of have a feeling that this one is going to be husky sized. And this little girl is going to be named Chloe. Oh, that's very, okay, no, Chloe, come back. Are you okay? Wait, Chloe, where are all your, okay, oh, phew. Okay, I have to, oh, I almost lost you, Chloe, but you're here. We're all good. All right, Chloe, there we go. You have, look at that friendly face. 
Look at that friendly face. You are precious. You can't give milk, though. However, you can be smart and loyal, and even though Chloe has this extremely friendly face, so you would think, oh, this is just the sweetest little puppy, always the best behaved out of the whole litter, actually, Chloe's a troublemaker. So, yeah, watch out for that. <laughs> All right, and the final little addition to this litter, let me pull up the final of the names. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna. Oh, wow, we're gonna have Evelyn! Oh my gosh, Evelyn! I love your look! Look at this! And you, Evelyn, are a playful. Let's see, is that playful? Yeah, that's playful. So you're extremely playful, you are loyal, and you are a glutton. And Evelyn, I think mixing a wolf and a panda sound amazing. I am writing that one down as well right now. And then a uh, panda. How on earth do you forget to spell panda for a second, Siri? That is just absolutely silly. And then I'm gonna put down the Finnick Fox. You guys, I swear. Most of the fun from this is just your sheer excitement and also your brilliant and curious questions about what we could possibly crossbreed. Being able to run those kinds of experiments and want to see the results is a living example of the curiosity that we are all about here in the Pixel Biology channel. I am so proud right now. But all right, let's go ahead, guys, and we are going to grow these guys up. So Jess is good. Zoo is good. We are ready to go ahead and we're going to see what the pups are going to grow into. They have frolicked, they have played, they have had a wonderful time. Not one of them actually ended up with darker fox patterning, just little Nuna. They have had a wonderful time being happy, itty bitty little ones in their flower field. They have listened for a very long time to their father's very bad poetry, of which you guys are more than welcome to try to recreate in the comments. And they are ready to grow up and help with the pack. So, Rain, you're up first. <gasps> Rain! Oh, she's just like her dad. No dragon tail. Sorry, Rain. I, I swear that dragon tail is just really, really strong on our genetics. But here is Rain! So, she looks pretty much identical to her father, except, you know, he's covered in very serious poetic snow. And she's got her mother's eyes. But yeah, she's got her father's thinner tail, father's coloring, father's size. I really don't see a lot of her mom in her at all. And I think that's okay. You know, sometimes you get a kid who really just obviously takes after one parent more than the other, and that's Rain. She takes after her father's footsteps. But what about little Nuna? Nuna? <gasps> Nuna! Oh my gosh, no dragon tail, Nuna. We don't need dragon tails. Nuna is actually a gigantic, beautiful fox. Look at the colors. Look at that. I love having that fox color and patterning on a big husky body. <laughs> So she also takes after her dad in size, but I think those are her mom's little ears and yeah, definitely one of her mom's jeans for the coat pattern. So that's really exciting. Nuna, you're beautiful. Can you, I mean, she's gorgeous. Can you imagine like having a husky like this? She's just, she's stunning. I love her. And Shadow, are you going to grow up to be a big like your dad or are you going to be more fox sized? Let's see. <gasps> Little fox size shadow! There we go, guys! We have got a fox husky. We have got a fox sized husky. And this is hilarious and adorable, and I basically love everything about this. <laughs> all right! All right, all right! So there we go. We finally have somebody who is fox sized. And I think that we've got a lot of husky spirit inside of this one. Uh, other than the fact that that tail is definitely the fox tail, too. Shadow, you are precious. And Erms? Erms? Oh, we've got another fox-sized guy! Okay, so he's also fox-sized. I think he's got some of his dad's seriousness. I can actually see him sitting on a tree trunk, particularly in the autumn, perhaps his favorite season, as the leaves match the color of his eyes, riding, perhaps, haikus. He's smaller, so perhaps instead of long epic ballad poetry like his dad, he writes haikus because he's smaller. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got some foxes. We've got some huskies. I'm absolutely in love with Nuna. And Chloe, what about you? You've got a face that makes me think you're going to follow your dad's footsteps. And sure enough, there we go. Chloe with her father's more serious eyes. I think maybe her mother's ears. So maybe she has, her ears are a little more adept to hear the forest than uh, the rest of her siblings. 
And otherwise, yeah, she's, she really takes after her dad. I think he'd be quite proud. Welcome, Chloe. And then finally, oh no, Evelyn, I forgot to put your name in. I'm so sorry, Evelyn. There we go. And then finally, Evelyn, I think we might have a fox-sized husky again. We're gonna have to see. I feel like this facial structure says we're gonna be like the mom, but... Oh, <gasps> we're not! And Evelyn, look at you with those ears! Okay, those are definitely the fox ears. And they are just beautiful. Also, no dragon tail, Evelyn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They are beautiful. Oh, I don't know. I don't know you guys. Nuna or Evelyn. I am completely enchanted with both, but I love all of them. Don't get me wrong. I truly do. I also really love how we have a couple little fox sized ones, but otherwise we've got just like giant huskies who take after their dad. But all right, I love them. I really love them. I would love to know who you guys like most out of this mix. That always makes me so excited to see like which one's your favorites. I'm kind of so enchanted with Nuna. I almost want to keep her for like future crossbreeding challenges. Let me know what you guys think about that. But most importantly, my friends, I hope you had a good time. If you could do please leave a like for the poetry written by a very delighted and very proud zoo who is happy to have so many offspring. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please Please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time bye bye